Hello, I want to tell you about some updates to the macro oscillator algorithm that we've added in this DEX firmware 1.18, which when taken together mean you can play this as a full voiced polysynth now. So uh, let's just get an output. Uh, that's by default, the four macro oscillators come out of outputs one, two, three, and four. So the first thing we might want to do is actually have them all come out of the same output so we don't need to such a complex patch with mixes and stuff. So that's been added. It's under the macro oscillator menu, under mix, and it's a full matrix mix. So you can as arbitrarily assign the four oscillators to the four outputs. So uh, by default, as I say, it's one, two, three, four. So if we find oscillator two, and we'll put that into output one, I've got them tuned differently so you can hear the difference. And then we'll go to instance three and we'll put that into output one as well. And we'll put instance four into output one. So there, that we've got all four oscillators coming out of the single output. Now they're also coming out of these outputs at the same time. We haven't got nothing plugged in there, but uh, so it doesn't really matter. But if we wanted to be neat and tidy about it, we could turn those off. So there, there goes number four. And there goes number three. Oops. And there goes number two. So these are all out, off now and all four oscillators are coming out of this output. Now, the other thing you might want to do if uh, you wanted to play this polyphonically, so you've basically got four voices, is not have to set the settings on all four oscillators to be the same thing. Uh, That's your classic Oberheim SEM thing. Um, so what we'd like to do is have basically all four oscillators use the same settings. So that is now in the macro oscillator settings menu. Uh, it's the last item in this list here. Share params. So if I set that to one for all of them, then all four voices are now using the parameters that would normally be used for voice one. So uh, that's these ones here. So if I change the model, they're all changing. Um, now that shares everything apart from the CV gate input settings. So uh, you can still play this as, as four different voices. And you can also play it over MIDI. Uh, so let's do that now. The other thing, this is the final piece of the puzzle. Uh, in the settings, there is a new MIDI option. Uh, previously, you could choose to control the different ones from MIDI, pitch, or gate, or both. Um, now, if we wind this all the way up to here, uh, we can choose them to be polyphonic, meaning that they... Wrong one. It does voice allocation. Uh, so there we go. And that one. Da, 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 da. Right, so all four instances are now on polychannel norm, which means they're going to be treated polyphonically on the base MIDI channel. And the other thing we might want to do to stop this incessant noise is actually turn on the envelope. There we go. Right, so now as I play from my MIDI keyboard, which is here, uh, which is routed through an FH2 and through MIDI into the back of this disting, um, we get some very short notes. So let's make that longer so we can actually hear what's going on. There we go. Now, you'll have to take my word for it at the moment that that's polyphonic, but it is. But if we play a chord, like so, and they all share the same timbre and color, so. There you go. So, um, yeah, polyphonic voice allocation. Um, of course, we don't have to have it coming out of a single thing. We might want to have a stereo output. I'll just plug in my other cable here and adjust the pan. So, okay, so now we've got outputs one and two. And at the moment, all four voices are still coming out of output one, but we can go in and change that in the mix. So for example, we might want uh, them all, 
Well, what should we do? Let's put, let's have them on different outputs. So let's have that one on output one. And then voice two will have, um, well, let's have that on output one as well. And then voice three, we'll get rid of the out output one and put it on output two, which is there and the same for four. Um, so now we're going to have voices one and two on that one, and uh, three and four on that one. So you can hear the voices cycling around. If you play a chord, we'll get some notes on both sides. Um, of course, by tweaking that arbitrarily, you could get them panned differently or in the center or whatever you like. But anyway, it's completely flexible. Um, yeah, like I say, new in firmware 1.18, building on the macro oscillator algorithm. Um, which, just in case we've forgotten, is for braids in one algorithm. Cheers.